Hey guys, Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys have been enjoying all our how-to videos as well as a lot of the lighting techniques videos that we've been putting up. This is gonna be a quick video just briefly summarizing the three most popular landscape lighting techniques that are out there with some quick tips, which is up lighting, pathway lighting, and down lighting. So we hope you guys enjoy this. Again, these videos are courtesy of our friends at FX Luminaire. We've been putting out some great, great training material. Uh, and another reason why we love using their products and promoting their products. Uh, we have the ability to choose from any landscape lighting manufacturer that is out there. We choose FX Luminaire 90% of the time because their quality is unmatched. The people that work there, their support, everything that they offer is next level. So we hope you guys enjoy this. You can find many of their products on our website at lightingdoctor.ca or email me your questions and comments to cal at lightingdoctor.ca and I look forward to hearing from you. Up lighting is the most dramatic type of landscape lighting. Let's review some basics. Trees are traditionally illuminated with up lights with a special focus to ensure all areas of the tree are highlighted from the necessary viewing areas. Use long shrouds or hex baffles when the light source is visible to your general audience. Focus on lighting the trunk and branching structure of a tree instead of the leaves. Always ensure that the tree is properly pruned. Wall washes are a great option for shrubs, walls, and boulders. To add light while hiding the fixture, use ingrade lights. Don't forget to highlight the architectural features of a house. Uplights are the most impactful way to bring color into a landscape. By adding a few colors, uplights can create fun looks and themes. Let's recap some path light fundamentals. Traditionally, pathways are designed with path lights. Stagger the placement of each fixture for a classic look or align them evenly for a more modern look. Since path lights are usually installed to enhance nighttime safety for pedestrians, spacing should be consistent along the entire path. When you have a tree or structure above the pathway, use down lights to bring a natural light to the area without drawing attention to the fixtures. If you have a high traffic area and you can't use down lights or path lights, FX Luminaire also has ingrade lights and wall lights that wash the path. FX Luminaire has many traditional and contemporary fixtures to help you better match those fixtures to your landscape. Downlighting is the most natural lighting technique. Use downlights to softly illuminate gardens, shrubs, and landscape vegetation during the late evening and at night. Downlights installed in man-made structures like pavilions, gazebos, or trellises provide a nice light to high traffic areas. When you install downlights above a tree canopy, you can achieve a very dramatic moonlighting look with shadows. You can also use down lights to illuminate walkways or areas with changing elevation. Use the full range of FX Luminaire's down lights to create many elegant looks.
So, you've decided to take your property to the next level by installing landscape lighting in order to highlight the beautiful exterior features of your home, accent your newly planted landscaping, or make your patio parties the talk of the neighborhood. Installing your landscape lighting is quick and easy, and we'll walk you through the eight simple steps to have your home looking great in no time. There are several different styles and types of lighting for you to choose from, and before you begin, we suggest learning about those different types of lights and the different benefits each one can bring to your home. If you're looking to learn more about the advantages of each light, please see our YouTube video titled, Choosing Your Lighting. Once you've picked the lights you'd like to install, you'll need to decide where you'd like to place those lights. For the best results, find a flashlight with an adjustable beam and use it to start lighting up different features around your house to preview what angles will look best. Next, you'll need to assemble your lights. To save some money and ensure you have a high quality fixture that will stand the test of time, we recommend finding aluminum incandescent fixtures, then retrofitting them with a higher efficiency LED bulb. These bulbs last 10 to 50,000 hours, usually the lifespan of your system. This is a great way to get good quality, but at a fraction of the cost that a strictly integrated LED fixture would be. Using a shovel or trowel, dig a small hole in the desired spot, then place a 6 to 8 inch ground stake in the hole, and using a rubber mallet, pound it firmly into place. Using a proper stake is key to ensure your lights won't be knocked over or moved around easily. Once your stake is in place, simply screw in your light fixture. Starting at your transformer, lay out your wire at each fixture, and be sure to leave an excess loop of wire at each light. Using wire cutters, split and strip a short bit off the end of a wire to then place in the connection. If you'd like to save yourself a lot of time, we suggest making sure you spend the extra money on a high quality connector. A poor connector will break down over time, leaving you to dig up the wiring and replace it. Each end of wire will go into the connector's gel filled sockets. The connector will snap into place and hold your wiring airtight. Once you have all three wires inside the connector, wrap them around the stake and bury them. Place your transformer next to a GFCI receptor, an outlet that will convert 110 volts of power down to just 12 volts for your lights. Again, a waterproof lid is recommended to extend the lifespan of your system. You can mount your transformer on a stake or directly to your house. Finally, plug in your low voltage landscape lighting wiring and connect the wires into the bottom of the terminal and plug that into the wall outlet. For your final step, go back and make sure every light is running properly. If some aren't lit, you may have to dig up and check the connection of your light. Adjust every fixture for its best performance. This is done best at night to see which position of the light will make your house shine. Finally, you can bury your wire by using a shovel to clear out a small trench to fit it, then covering it back up. We hope this helped you install your low voltage LED lighting system. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. For other helpful installation landscape lighting details, please like Lighting Doctor on Facebook or visit our website. With the Lighting Doctor's premium landscape lighting kit, you'll have the brightest and best looking home on the block. Comes with 12 up lights to highlight your home's beautiful features and 8 path lights so you can get more out of your patio parties. These kits are easy to install and thanks to the Wi-Fi programmable timer, you can adjust your lights with the touch of a button. Visit LightingDoctor.ca to order your kit today.